Last time New Mexico State was in Bakersfield, the Aggies added to WAC conference lore in double overtime. Baker for three to win. He hits it. New Mexico State is going to break the runner's heart again. But the CSU Bakersfield runners had some last second magic of their own in the WAC Conference Tournament Championship. Hazel for the win. And he hit it! And Bakersfield goes to the tournament for the first time! Now, New Mexico State at CSU Bakersfield. Next. Bakersfield, California, and you are looking at the Icardo Center. Tonight's matchup, the New Mexico State Aggies versus the CSU Bakersfield Roadrunners. Hello, everyone, and thank you for watching the WAC Game of the Week on ESPN3. Along with Seth Bonner, my name is Michael Clanton. Well, let's talk about one of the hottest teams in the country, New Mexico State. The Aggies, they have won 20 in a row. They're in first place in the conference, and they're led by a super senior. Yeah, Ian Baker is a guy that can do it all for this team, leads in scoring, assist, steals. This guy makes every play, every big-time play they need. He gets it done. After 16 points a game, will break you down off the dribble. Keep your eye on this guy. He knows how to do it. And how about Bakersfield coming off a nice road win against GCU last Saturday. They also are led by a good senior. Absolutely. They're four straight win in that regard. And you talk about Jalen Arrington. He's a guy that can slash it. He's extremely versatile. Averages 14.7 points per game, five rebounds. Mr. Do-It-All for this ball club. At 6'4", he's a matchup nightmare for this team. And let's get to the starting lineups beginning first with New Mexico State. And it's a good starting lineup. They have won a lot of games with this uh, crew, watch for number 22, Eli Chua. Eli Chua is a guy that can do it all. He's nine rebounds a game, 11 points a game. He's just a hair under double-double. The redshirt sophomore is big presence inside, gets a lot of inside position rebounds, offensive side as well. Ten offensive rebounds last time these two teams meet. And how about for Bakersfield, the uh, starting lineup for the Roadrunners? And they've made a change here, said. They have. They're trying to uh, eliminate that 16 deficit rebound. They're out rebounded 46 to 30 in the first match in the last matchup. Motez Alley gets a start at six foot ten, giving them a little bit more length inside. Look for him, his presence on the block to make a difference. Well, said. Let's get to your keys of the game, beginning first with New Mexico. State, the Aggies. The, the Aggies need to share the basketball. 24 assists in their last game and a blowout win over Chicago State. And then they need to be selective beyond the arc. Don't just take a three-pointer because you've got it. Make sure it's a good look in rhythm and then that those numbers both will, will blow up. And then for Bakersfield. For Bakersfield, they've got to shoot free throws. They've got to make free throws. Just 46% the last time these two teams met, not going to get it done. And that's a five-point game. They make half their rebounds, they get it done. We've already touched on the second one for them. They've got to be the chairman of the boards tonight. They've got to gobble every rebound. They can't give up 20-plus offensive rebounds to this New Mexico State Aggie team. We kind of referenced the last meeting. It was New Mexico State winning 63-58. to For 27 minutes, though, Bakersfield, they were in control. They led by as many as nine. Arrington went off at 19 points. You mentioned the poor free throw shooting, shooting under 60%. And then Ian Baker, 13 points. Jones had 16 rebounds. And uh, they were plus 16 rebounding edge. And that makes a difference with the rebounds and the free throws. Rebounds, free throws are two of the huge numbers. You, you talk to coaches and they look at turnovers. Well, you give up offensive rebounds. Those are basically turnovers and gave up a ton of offensive boards to this Aggie team. You look for them this evening to put a body on butts, put butts on bodies and block guys out. Well, how about the job that uh, Paul Weir, first year head coach, has done? 22-2. and two. The expectation levels through the roof. It's, it's amazing uh, what he's been able to do, but you can see there he's loose. The, the guys play loose for him. And this is a team that believe they haven't blown all the blown all these teams out that they're beating. They played in a lot of tight games. They just find a way, led by that young man, find a way to win the game at the end. And how about Rod Barnes? He has been a terrific coach for Bakersfield. I, I, the wins, they don't say enough. The 96 and 85 record, he has really changed the complexion of this program. And he's also a terrific man. I've enjoyed my association with him over the years. 
So here we go. The game of the week in the WAC on ESPN3. And it will be New Mexico State with possession first. They're in their crimson jerseys. A good sign for them. They're 6-0 and in these uniforms. They know it's going to come down to the wire in this game against the Roadrunners. These two teams know each other well. They get up into each other defensively and make it tough for each other. Wilkins gives it up. Three ball does not go. Baker there with the offensive rebound. And right off the bat, we talked about it. Can't give up offensive boards, and you allow the littlest guy on the floor to get inside for a second chance basket. And that's a guy who's six feet, 191 pounds. The senior, the only senior on New Mexico State's roster. And this is something that really ate up CSUB. The jump hook by Wilkins is off the mark. Here comes Rapp. The top two defensive programs in the conference. Here's the drive, and it was rejected. That's a great block by Jonathan Wilkins. Braxton Huggins. And he's a local product. He's from right here in Bakersfield. Got a lot of welcomes when he came to shoot around. Able to draw that first foul. Tell you what, you talk about being the top two defensive teams. These guys play with so much energy on the defensive end, and they ton of man-to-man -man or zero coverage. Like, they want to be man-to-man. -man. They don't get lost. Anytime you expend that kind of energy, you talk about the low-scoring games that these guys have had over the last couple of years, they expend so much energy on the defensive end. It's important to them. Without question, that is their calling card. Huggins, one of two. Oh, my. Rap will show and tell early. It is standing room only here in the Icardo Center. This is as big a game as there is. Last year it was a thriller, a double overtime, and it was Ian Baker with the game winner. Inside, and a chance at a three-point play for Matt Smith. We talked about the ability to pass the ball by Jalen Arrington. His versatility, I mean, that created. He created, he beat two guys off the dribble. Unselfish enough. He had a look there. He could have taken that shot, but unselfish enough to make the right, pit, right play. Smith, a 68% uh, free throw shooter. Misses that, but it's 2-1. Bakersfield leading New Mexico State early here in the first half. But we talked about offensive rebounding. We've talked about missed free throws. And we've already seen that early as this might be a turnover. No, it was deflected. It'll stay with New Mexico State. Well, this has turned into quite the little rivalry. I mean, it's, it's two teams that are, are, are on the rise. Uh, they both feel like they're the best team in the conference. And, and the last five games that they've played have, have come down to the wire. I mean, it's, it's a great matchup, a great rivalry. 14th meeting all time. New Mexico State leads it 12-1, to 1, but that one was a big one. It was in the WAC championship game as Chua misses on the uh, shot from inside the paint. That was the greatest moment in Bakersfield history. Even though they won three Division II national championships, Winning the WAC tournament and going to the NCAA tournament was a highlight for this program. It really was. And you look back to, to two years ago, the, the gap was a little bit wider. It was double-digit wins, and it's shrunk. It's been five, it's been seven, it's been one in overtime. So they've get, gotten closer and closer, including the win in the tournament. Yeah, I think that's an excellent point. New Mexico State, they've been in the WAC longer. They were established, and everybody else was trying to play catch up and the other teams kind of have caught up to New Mexico State although they've won 20 in a row Arrington gives it up Basil he was the one that hit the game winning shot in the WAC tournament matter of fact it was the WAC tournament MVP misses on his first shot attempt Baker got in the lane a near turnover Chua Missed everything, but it's saved by New Mexico State. No. It'll be Roadrunners basketball. 
you can see the tension. The way the way guys are actually shooting the ball right now, it, it is tense. That's a big game on the floor. It is a huge game, and they know what's at stake. Even though it's a conference game, both these teams figure in in the tournament big time. But they know in order to get that head and shoulder head above the shoulders and in front of the rest, they got to take down. The opponent tonight. Without question. New Mexico State 8 0 in conference. Bakersfield, they are 6 1. And so it really is a battle for first place. And New Mexico State's strength of schedule is difficult. First of a three game road trip here. And this is as tough a place to play as any in the conference. They won nearly 88% of their games. Here's Rap for for him, it's good to see maybe a play with some confidence here against New Mexico State. Knocked around, and it will be over to the state with New Mexico State. So that shot by Rapp there was in rhythm off a good pass. He's able to square up, set his feet. That's the shot he needs to look for if he wants to be successful shooting the three points. Tonight's officials, by the way, Stephen Brill and Diddy. Joe Garza will come in for Coach Weir. He is a fascinating story. Baker in the paint, back to Garza. Here is Taylor. Matt Taylor is really, his role has changed dramatically since last year. Was a starter for most of the season. Now he's coming off the bench and has embraced that role and knocks in a big three. First field goal by the Aggies. And it's the junior from Toronto. It's a big one. Got a good look. Mexico State really struggled shooting the three ball in the first matchup in Las Cruces against the Roadrunners. Under 16 here in the first half. Rap hit a three moments ago. That was a good matchup with Arrington and Taylor. Shot clock down to two. The tipping won't fall, and another rebound by New Mexico State. This is a good job of crashing the boards by the Roadrunners. Well, that's Jones. Jones, the last time these two teams played, had 16 rebounds. Here is Taylor. He comes off the bench with the right mindset to, to put the ball in the basket, and he's ready to do it when he steps on the floor. Bakersfield, they've got a guy similar to that. Oh, it's taken away by Smith. Great defense by Matt Smith. Pick the other end, Dedrick Basil was fouled. So we have a break in the action, and we'll take it with them. It is early in the first half, and it's Bakersfield on top of New Mexico State, 5-4. You're watching the Wacken Wolf on ESPN 3. So Basil at the uh, free throw line was the hero of the uh, WAC tournament a season ago. 5'10", 160 pounds, senior guard. Makes good on the first, just a 63% free throw shooter. Might see him at halftime in the uh, WAC top five. Little teaser there. Makes them both. And the lead now three for the Roadrunners. That was more like a spoiler alert. <laughs> That's true. We'll, we will have New Mexico State presentation, too, in the top five. Just want to point that out. Tua lost it. Rap has it. Rap goes all the way and going to be called for an offensive foul. And it was the local product, Huggins, staying his ground. That's a, that's a play right here where, where Rap doesn't have control of what he's doing. He should just pull up for the short jumper. You can't run through guys. And he gets a little bit out of control, but there's nothing wrong with the mid-range jumper or drop it off there for somebody. He's got one of the best assist to turnover ratios in the conference. Baker launches a deep three and wrap with a rebound. As we mentioned, the two top defensive teams in the conference. Both of them shooting under 40%, but that's a high percentage shot as Smith able to capitalize. And I think it was the assist by Rapp. It was, and with a nice back pick down low, 
by our do it everything guy, Jalen Arrington. So talented, so versatile. Five point lead, Basil almost picks one off. Baker misses on the three. Tipped around, battle for it. Tracked down by CSUB. Wow. Knocked away. Are they going to call a foul? Foul going to be called. I think they're going to get Smith. I mean, the finish. Unbelievable body control. And then with the left hand on the other side of the rim. We talk about an athlete. I mean, that was a pretty athletic maneuver. If you're just seeing Bakersfield for the first time, uh, welcome to the party. I mean, this is a very talented and athletic and tough team, speaking of the Roadrunners. Justin Pride for the Roadrunners. Pride checks in for Coach Rod Barnes. Sixth year. And the big fella, Doy, who typically starts but didn't tonight. He's a transfer from Mississippi State. Taylor for three. Oh, just rimmed out. You got to know who the shooters are. You can't give them free looks. They struggle a little bit from, the, from beyond the arc, but that's one of the shooters. You got to identify and close out. Oh, a deep three by Damian. In and out. Another rebound this time by Baker. Damian Durham for Bakersfield has the green light. Second leading score on the team with 13.8 coming off the bench. And there's a slam. That's a so Wilkins, pass. he's 6'10", he's 207 out of France. And has made this a five-point game. Too Unable bad. to That's answer a, at the other end. Is John Briggs. Briggs, yeah, physical move. Jones right back at you. Yeah. Talking about his athleticism. Had the great pass, Jamario Jones, on the last play, and this time he finishes it off. We're seeing quick offense. I, I didn't think we'd Tons. see that. No. They, they, they want to get out of the 60s in this game. They, It'll be hard for that to happen with these two uh, great defenses. And again, it's Jones with the rebound. And after a good contest. Going inside, here's Wilkins. Had that dunk moments ago. Able to draw the foul, or did he say he walked? They get a hand check on Doy. So in comes Garza for New Mexico State, as well as Chua. I think the, the pace of this game <laughs> dictates that if you've got guys on the bench that are able-bodied, they've got to give you some minutes. Well, and this is New Mexico State. That's what they've done this year under Coach Weir. Nice pass underneath. Unable to finish was Taylor, but boy, they are running. Here's Arrington. Missed it. That could have been interference. The ball looked like it was up on the backboard first. How about that drive? And it's Huggins, wow. Braxton Huggins. But he put the right type of English on the ball at the top because it looked like it was coming out and spun back in. Wow. Hey, to the house. 11.46 remaining here in the uh, first half. It's a one-point ball game. Roadrunners on top of the Aggies. Welcome back to the Icardo Center here at New Mexico State and Bakersfield on ESPN3. Roadrunners trailed by as many as seven points, and they've uh, crept up now just trailing by one. Speaking of the Aggies, here's Durham in the corner. Arrington. I don't think this team does. When you put pressure on them, they, they will make you pay for it. They're too athletic, too many weapons attacking the basket. Back to Jalen. Good look at a three. Offensive rebound. Another one. A tip does not fall. Well, he's got to power up with that and dunk it. It's a good hustle job by the big man. Get back on defense, getting his hands on that ball. Basil gives it up. And almost turned over. He did. Baker 
able to step in that passing lane and I think knocked it off the basil. You get up in the air trying to drive and, and make passes off your feet. Damian Durham did right there. It's typically what happens, especially if you got a team that hustles into passing right. lanes as much as this one does. You've got to make good passes, sharp passes. Under 11 to play in the first half. Baker had it blocked. It was Ali quickly down at the other end. And it's Durham able to get the finish. That's a great finish. And a little bit of a force by Baker on the other end. For three. And that's short. Huggins has it. Huggins misses. It was too strong. Another rebound by Briggs. Since that onset, since the first couple series down the down the floor, there's been no offensive rebounds for New Mexico State. Baker's still one and done there. Baker. Proud wanted to travel. Haley's got it. Inside to Chua, and the bucket is good. Tell you, that's where he's so good. Keeping the ball nice and high. He got the feed right up high pointed and stayed right there with it. He's got such good touch around the rim. To a number one in the WAC in field goal percentage, 60%. And that was a good look. Under 10 here in the first half. Basil, deep three. Got it! Dietrich Basil, the senior out of Houston, Texas. I was just going to go off on him for not breaking down the big man with the dribble. But he knocked down the three. Oh, nice cut by Baker. He can't finish, but the tip by Jones is in. I'll tell you what, Jones has played some solid, solid minutes. He's been extremely productive since coming off the bench. That active Tough. leaper can dribble. Eight double doubles. That's third in the whack. Okay? Just uh, so many terrific players on both of these teams. Had it knocked away by Chua. He tried to call time, and the official didn't buy it. Hey, right, listen, that's a great play by the big fella. He's six seven. Just breaking down a guard. See the quick hands, he's able to knock the ball away and then the hustle yeah. to get on the floor. Coach Barnes, here's Rapp. Durham, he certainly has the green light. Rapp at the buzzer, won't fall. It's a good effort there by Get a good uh, foul. I think it's Moore. Yeah, Tajay Moore, the freshman out of uh, Mississippi, called for the foul. He came over the top and took a swipe at the ball and caused it to come out of the hand. So that's, that's why the call was made. Under nine minutes here in the first half. A good one, a two-point game. Taylor, Wilkins, here's Baker. Jones, how about Jones? But he can't finish. Everything but the ball dropping in. and put on a series of beautiful, moves. Beautiful moves at the top of the key. Approaching eight minutes. Durham. Deep three. It's a great looking shot. Gonna swing it around. Taylor thinking about it. His hands are down. You gotta take that. Another New Mexico State turnover. Durham again. That was short. Miller, I think against either one of these teams, anytime you get the ball in the paint, trying to put the ball on the ground is detrimental. 
How about Jonathan Wilkins? Launched it off the mark. That's 6'10", showing you a little bit of range. <laughs> showing you the Euro range for a 6'10 10, 10 guy out beyond the arc. And what's down and out? 31% three-point shooter. So he's proven he can hit that shot. Under seven minutes here in the first half. Raps got it. A whistle and a foul on Jones. And then you see the tip in there by Jones. Just talking about his athleticism. And how about for Bakersfield? Durham come off the bench and has been spot on. Knocked down a couple big threes. And a chance for a three-point play for Matt Smith. This will be his second and one attempt. He wasn't able to finish the first one at the line. Smith out of uh, Jackson, Tennessee, went to Columbia State Community College. Teammates with uh, Justin Clyde, number 51, at Columbia State. And quickly now, it's 22 to 14. New Mexico State, I believe, already as many made threes as they had all in that first meeting. So they shot just three of 14 from three-point range. Huggins lost it. Boy, Taylor able to track that down. They're making him earn every second. I mean, everything is contested on the floor. Perfected Baker. Baker just 0 for 5. How about the block shot by Ramp? New Mexico State's a very good shot blocking team. Rap able to get one for Bakersfield. And the kind of place you don't expect that he's not the tallest guy, but he's extremely quick. He's sneaky quick. He's a good player, the junior from Boulder, Colorado. Shot clock down to five. Durham changed his mind. Down to three. Basil, he changes his mind. And then a whistle, and we're going to have a foul is Smith. Putting it on the floor, able to draw the foul with one on the shot clock. Call on Wilkins, his second. That's that's a tough, tough way to get your second foul if you're the big man. And that's basically a bailout. Shot clock was about to expire. Wrapped to inbound. Under six minutes to play. Bays will track it down. Garza on him defensively, number 15 for New Mexico State. We'll get into his story a little bit later on. It's a, I think it's a terrific story. Getting it inside. Oh, nice cut and by Durham. But how about the pass by Doy? Thinking of that kind of production from that spot down on the block against his team. It helps the calls. Anything you can get from the bigs down low, it's going to be helpful. Top three point shooter for New Mexico State. Misses in the corner, speaking of Huggins. And just like that, they're down 10. Now, Bakersfield, they, had a, they led by as many as nine points in Las Cruces. Led by seven at the break. And New Mexico State came back and pulled away. Doy misses. Battle for it. And here comes Jones. Yeah, the game with the stick. Durham, why not? Oh, he's a treasure. And he's got the clip whenever he comes in. He was knocked out of the largest lead for CSU Bakersfield, 27 to 14. Wow. In, in rhythm, beautiful looking shot. New Mexico State, they're in a little bit of trouble, but they've been here before. They trailed in multiple games. And, I, and talking to Coach Weir, he's like, there hasn't been one thing about this win streak because they've won 20 in a row. It's just we make less mistakes. We get into a groove, we get into a rhythm, and they're going to need to find that groove quickly because Bakersfield, they are red hot, and they're feeding off the energy in this building. I think 
second half adjustments have been huge throughout this stretch for the Aggies. Durham's got 10 points, including two made threes. And there's the three-point story there. In just nine more nine minutes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the runner is good. It's by nice Huggins. Nice looking shot, and that's a way to answer. Changing his mind at the last moment. We'll have a held ball situation to stay with Bakersfield. I want to correct myself. I, I think I said that New Mexico State has hit as many threes as they did in that first matchup. You saw in the graphic just one for nine. It's Bakersfield. They're four of nine from three-point range. So they are shooting much better than they did in the first matchup. And largely because of Durham. I mean, he's been... Awesome. He came off the bench ready to light it up. Smith. Look at this range. Oh, he oh. it to the Damian Durham again. His third made three. Literally, that one was from the pocket parking lot. Offensive <laughs> foul going to be called on Braxton Huggins. Breaking the action, we'll take a look at them right now. It is the Damian Durham Show. Baker Show leading 30 to 16. You're watching the last game of the week on ESPN3. So Bakersfield with possession wrap. Almost turned it over. Fans here wanted a foul, but boy, what a beginning here for the Roadrunners. Up by 14 against the top team in the conference. A team that has won 20 straight. Durham. Missed that time. That, that's a heat check right there. That's yeah. absolutely a heat check. He's got 13 points in the first half. He's almost outscored New Mexico State. Huggins, here's Chua. And the officials notice the clock has not uh, has not changed since the uh, timeout. So our officials will get together and get the clock situated. I think it's just a willingness to play unselfish and play with effort. And that's that's what you got to do when you to want to be a great defender. Shot clock was running down. We're going to call a foul with one second remaining on the shot clock. Huggins noticed the clock and just had to throw something up. Mexico State fortunate to get a foul there. Get an extra possession. Getting bailed out. The Baker's going to have to get something going right now. Hard to believe he is scoreless. 0 for 5 from the floor. And that's their lone senior. He's their leader. He's got it now. Misses again, 0 for 6. We talked about in the open, taking good looks at the three-point arc, and right now we're not getting it. I'd rather see him attack the basket and try to create something inside for himself or, or, or another player coming off the wing. Going to play a little bit of clock here. Basil has it. In trouble in the corner, looking for some help. Oh, nice pass. Oh, unselfish basketball. It's Smith, the beneficiary. Three quick snap passes. Last one by Jalen Arrington. A 16-point lead for the Roadrunners. Two inside. He lost it. I just can't get anything going on the offensive end. Well, they look discombobulated. Oh, nice cut by Smith. Oh, Lee with the find. And Matt Smith is just out athletic. He's all the guys on the block at 6'6", but he's a good jumper and he's extremely quick. And the big guys can't stay with him. Offensive foul, wow. Called against Ethan Baker. His second. 
That's a tough call right there. 18 fouls. I thought so too. Under two minutes in this first half that has been controlled by CSU Bakersfield. Four on the clock. Basil's got it. With the drive, was knocked away by Chua from behind. Possession by New Mexico State. Jones. Wow. First Are of all, you he caught it. <laughs> First of all, he was able to even put a hand on it and then finish off balance. What a play by Jones. Nine points. Nine points for him in the first half. He's been the only player. Or excuse me. Five, seven points now. Here's Arrington. Shot clock again inside 10. Smith, boy, taking it strong. Rebound by Chua, but he throws it right to left. And Davis show a chance to play for the final shot. They want to push. Exclamation points. And then he comes back and blocks it up the other end. Center. 9.6 left. Baker misses again. Two seconds. Jones has got to do something. And he gets fouled. That's his eighth rebound of the half. He had 16 the first meeting. He was fouled. So not quite halftime here as Jones will step to the line, a 60% free throw shooter. How many of those plays have we seen, those run out type of stops have we seen Rap make in this game? Brent's done an outstanding job of leading the defensive end. How about Ali, oh, though? It's been incredible. The dunk and the block? Well, he's just trying to give Coach some love for giving him the start. Oh, That's my. He's out of Egypt, number 22. Former teammates with Ali Ahmed. Uh, I'm guessing they're checking clock. If the foul was before the time expired. They put point four on. Okay. Ali called for his second personal foul. Jones to uh, shoot a pair. This is on the first. I tell you what, this is uh, kind of got a little bit of a role reversal going on here, especially at the free throw line. They just won a three now in the, in the first half. New Mexico State's last game against Chicago State. They had 49 points at this point. Just 18, and there's the miss. Wow. Well, the Icaro Center is rocking. They love it here in Bakersfield. Their Roadrunners out in front by a count of 36 to 18. We'll be back with halftime. You're watching the Rack Game of the Week on ESPN3. All right, welcome back to the Icardo Center. Right now, it's the team with a 20-game winning streak in trouble, trailing by 18 on the road against the Roadrunners. And let's see what kind of energy New Mexico State has after getting outplayed in that first half. And right away, there's a block shot by the Roadrunners. Basil, the pull-up jumper, misses. Chua with the rebound. Well, Baker had an opportunity for a really good look, and he took it a little deeper, got his shot blocked. Chua. Oh, that one does fall in. So maybe that'll be the role that they need to get back into this game. Shooting under 27% in that first half. It's one of the top scoring teams in the conference. 
averaging over 78 points, but this is the best defensive team that they faced. Oh, without question. Smith, a That's tough good. shot. He is undersized, but somehow he gets that shot over the bigger guy, 6'6", 190 pounds. Quickly is Baker. And he misses it. And he has got to be so frustrated. Tell you what, that's not a miss there. That's an altered shot and a block by Ellie, who's paid dividends being put in the starting lineup. You've got this New Mexico State team with all this length and size. You go to your 6'10 guy, and he's come up big for you so far tonight. Yeah, he's been fantastic, the junior out of Alexandria, Egypt. Rap. Oh, nice. <laughs> Against the 6'10 Wilkins. That's just sneaky. Good. We'll talk about all the little plays he makes, the smart plays. It's only his fifth point, but he is, as you mentioned, been so involved in this now 20 point lead for the Roadrunners. <laughs> Basil called for the foul. <laughs> There is Rapp. Haley put her on the floor and able to draw the foul. The fresh things out of British Columbia, Canada. Highly touted coming out of uh, high school. Committed to Washington to begin things. And missed on that three. We gotta get better looks, better looks. Be more patient. They're not very patient offensively. Well, one of your keys was being more selective in the three ball. And one for 11. The start of Smith. <laughs> gotta find some way to get her in. And Smith has certainly done that in this game. We gotta find some way to contend with him. But he's too, too tall, too big for guards to guard, but way too quick for the forwards. A 22-point lead. Here's Baker, and there it is. The first points for the Wax. Active leading score. He's over 1,200 in his career. That's number one in the Wax, scoring here for the first time in this game in the second half. Step through that shot. Extremely confident. Oh, he's a tremendous player. Smith had it knocked away by Chua. Chua. Oh, what a finish nice. by the 6'7", 220-pound sophomore. Basil up and looking at the parade. In and out. Chua pointing New Mexico State's way, but it'll stay with Bakersfield. 16.52 left. Briggs will come into the ball game. That's, that's one of those shots that Dedrick Basil took there that you don't want. You've got to lead. Now, if you're Damian Durham and you've got the green light, go ahead and knock it down. Take that shot. But Basil should pull that thing out, set something up, or attack the basket. There was no one between him and the basket. No need to pull it through. Going inside, that's off the mark with 16.50 left. 42-25, Roadrunners on top. That was too close for Durham. And a touch foul by Basil. Baker again being very active here to start the second half. Clock stopped with 16:41, uh, 42-25 the score. Bakersfield on top. I think he's got to be active. He's, Absolutely. He's got to attack, try to force the issue. A lone senior on the roster in the paint, back outside. Haley for three. Too strong. Offensive rebound. Jones had it knocked away by Ali. Here's Basil. Turned it over on the boundary. 16-22 left. Second half, 42-25 Roadrunners. Rap will check into the game for Coach Barnes, who was last season's Don Haskins Coach of the Year in the WAC. Baker, again, able to get inside the lane. Chua. 
with 12 on the shot clock, able to draw the foul. 16.03 left here in the second. And Chua will head back to the free throw line. Three now. Third on Ali. And that's what you want. This guy has been problem for, for Baker and anyone else trying to drive in there. And it's a big shot selection. You know, I don't mind a post player backing a guy down, taking a shot there. Right. Nothing back to come to look at that. 16.03 remaining, second half. One more coming up. For Eli Chua. Makes good on the second, the sophomore out of uh, Redlands, California. Now under 16 minutes play in the second half. Being patient, Roadrunners are being very patient on their offense. Durham. Durham for three. Oh, he can't get the rim this time. What a soft touch. Have you ever shot a ball that stayed on the rim like that? I mean, that's a great touch. No, it danced on the rim before going out. 15, 25 left. A near turnover, 42-27, Bakersfield. The Wilson offensive foul going to be called. So we'll take the break with them. 42-27, Bakersfield still on top of New Mexico State. Be back on ESPN3 after this. In 19 minutes, 7 of 9 shooting. Boy, he has been efficient. But also, as you mentioned at halftime, Bakersfield, they have shared the ball. They've done an outstanding job of making good decisions with it. And as soon as I say it. Right. <laughs> Murphy's Law, right? Team second. Two team fouls as uh, Ali will come back well, into the ball game. Junior out of Egypt. I, I would get the ball down low and go right at, him, right at him. Get him off the ground with an up fake and go right at him when you get down to that end of the floor. Because that's the only way that the Aggies feel comfortable attacking the basket. He's altered a ton of shots inside since he's been in this lineup. A smile by Coach Barnes as they're attending to uh, wiping up the perspiration on this blue court. You played in this court years ago. It wasn't blue. It wasn't blue, though. It wasn't blue. A lot of renovations here at the Icardo Center the last several years. Bleachers behind us, brand new. Oh, and Durham knocks in another triple, his fourth of the game. He now has 16 points. That's just bad recognition defensively. You've got to identify the shooter. There's basically one on the floor that you extremely have to worry about. They didn't do it. And a turnover. Having a hard time getting into a rhythm this game, and that's what's been so good about this 20-game winning streak that they're on. They've been able to get into a groove, find the groove, and stay in it. They just have not found it, and part of that, of course, is Rod Barnes' defense, which is stifling. They are. I mean, you look at both these teams, you think New Mexico State's great. They give up 65.5 points a game, but then you look at... Bakersfield, it's 64.1 points a game. I mean, that's that way short by Durham. I mean, is it too? It's too early for a heat check in the second <laughs> half. He's only hit one in the second half, uh, I, so it's too early for the heat check. I'm that's a heat you, check. The transfer from Baylor. I, whenever he's in the game, he's, he's got the green light, and you can you can see why. Four made threes, and really a, a huge spark in that first half allowing Bakersfield to get to this big lead. And I think the other thing is when you watch them shoot it, none of them are really are bad shots. Like they're coming off of good passes, running the offense. So he's getting good looks. He might have had one in this first half where he was off balance. But he had just hit about three in a row. That's the heat check. The heat that check the doesn't heat check. count. Oh, I, the, heat check, the heat check. <laughs> Baker, boy, where do you go? Where do you go? Here's Taylor, two on the shot clock. He misses under 14 minutes to play, 45-27. No legs on that shot by Matt Taylor. No legs, wide open look. 
New Mexico State coming off uh, just a blowout win over Chicago State. Smith. And a foul before the shot. Where it was essentially over at halftime. They, they won 86-51, but they had 49 first half points. They started the game on a 16-0 run and really held Sims Jr. in check, two for 11, only had five points. And that's one of the top scorers in the conference. And so a lot of the starters able to rest. So you'd think they'd be well rested and, and, and gearing up for this Bakersfield game, but. Well, this, I mean, this game takes so much out of you emotionally when you first get on the floor. When it first go, kicks, kicks off and gets going and tip-off happens. The energy was, energy wow. was crazy. And they haven't been able to match the energy that the Roadrunners have put forth. Shot clock down to 10. Wow. Arrington able to sneak his way into the lane. Just patient. Great vision. And you're always taught, keep going until somebody stops you in the lane. And that's just a great effort. A chance Ellis is in the ball game, the sophomore guard. 12.49 left here, a second half, 45-27. CSUB over NMSU. You talk go back to that Chicago State game, the blowout win, where they had 24 assists. 24 assists in that game. And just 14 turnovers. I mean, they're, they're not going to touch that tonight unless they get on a, a crazy roll. No, they won the rebounding margin by 18. Second chance opportunity for the Roadrunners. Back-to-back -back second chance shots here. They also hit, I believe, 14 threes <laughs> against the Cougars. So uh, they, have, they would love to tap into that offensive potency, but they have not been able to do that against the Roadrunners. 12.25 left in the second. 46 to 27. A whistle. Another foul. Jones is third. Closes out a little off balance. Can't break down as Durham attacks. Has to bump him. Well, for New Mexico State, it's got to start on this end, on the defensive end, see if they can get some stops and some turnovers and convert hey. the points as Arrington lost it on the way up. Ali right there, he missed. Boy, in the first half, he just threw it down. Well, that's why I thought he got in range to do that. Must have slipped out of his hand because he was right there for the taking. He really was. And, and look, listen. So, what a job. I mean, that... First year head coach, 22 and 2, knocked off a Pac-12 team. First time that they beat a Power 5 team. I believe since 99 on a uh, like a road game, free throw was good. So I, I think there's a promotion here. If the team misses both free throws, there's like free Chick-fil-A or something. You get a free sandwich or something like that. Are we, are we in that mix? I, I don't know if we qualify. Said. So that's why I, I was told if they miss the first, they really get loud on the second. A steal by Baker and a blocking foul. And the fans don't like it. They thought it was a foul on Baker. But Raph, you mentioned it fouling out and the last time these two teams met. Picks up the personal there. He's had a huge impact on this game, along with Matt Smith. The way they've been able to play. And Knocks down the first, the uh, senior out of Washington, D.C. Looked like he was going to go to Providence and then Boston College, but New Mexico State got him. And boy, he has been a fantastic player for the Aggies. Second best free throw shooter in the conference, 84%. And Durham changed his mind in mid-flight. He was going to pass. Still, he was still, still got a good there. shot. And still got a good shot up. Oh, this guy is freaky athletic. Smith. That's really the first bad shot attempt he's had for the entire game. Clock oh, at 11.22. Oh. A chance at a three-point play. 
Better watch it. There's some grit now. We're seeing some grit from Baker and the boys. Well, those those last four strokes he had at the free throw line. Yep. Were, were as pure as you can get. And for somebody struggling, that's where you can go and find yourself, find Absolutely. your rhythm. Absolutely. I just talked about 84% free throw shooter. That's second in the conference. And that's pure. 46 to 34 with 11 17 left and a foul going to be called on the Aggies. And then Baker on the reach thought he had a clean pick. Durham in the corner. It's the side of the bag for the Boy, it is Baker's field night. It really is, and that <laughs> you, you, you do a great job defensively. Also, a foul about uh, 40 feet away from the basket. But that three hit the side of the glass and found its way into the hands of Arrington. Who had an e easy finish, and look who's at the charity stripe again. Clock's not running. You're cutting into the lead. Yep. You know, these, are, these are big, big plays. You don't want to foul. If you can help it. You want to force them to burn some clock while they're trying to score. Only missed. 48-35. Arrington. Boy, able to drive in. The Too easy. That bucket was big because you, you saw some emotion from him. And, like, I'm here to compete. I'm here to get back in this game. If New Mexico State wins tonight, and it's not mathematical, but they'll probably win the conference. If they can win, because they'd have a two-game lead against Bakersfield, having won the season series. Now, their schedule is tough as Goulart comes in and is spotted by Smith. Wow, Tanvir Goulart, who's 7-2, had it rejected by 6'6 six, six Smith. You see right now, the Aggies have dropped back into a zone. So you're going to get some, you're going to get a good look at the three, and you're going to get some slashes in between, some knives in the lane like that. Shot clock down to three. Baker with the rebound. Looking to push. Huggins, the hometown kid, misses on the three. Oh, my, and spills into that front row. That's terrific effort by Huggins. Trying to chase it down. Not a good shot from him. But you're on your home floor. You're, you're trying to make something happen. Not your home floor, but you, you're in your hometown. The effort there, five points. Here's a guy that averages 14 points a game. Top uh, three-point shooter in terms of percentage in the conference. Shooting 44% from three-point range. Smith, he knew he missed it almost like uh, Moses Malone where you just kind of throw it up and hope he gets your rebound. And go back and grab didn't it. didn't quite work out he, well, he, he draws the foul. He had to run around the mountain man <laughs> down there to get to it. That's going to take a while. Bular is a mammoth of a man. Number 21. I, you know, Tanvir, he has worked really hard in the offseason. He's dropped a ton of weight. Looks fantastic as Baker makes good on the first. There he is in the background, number 21. It, 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 they're not down on him, speaking of New Mexico State. He does get a lot of playing time. That's because the guys in front of him have performed so well. They still like what Tanvir brings. His brother was fantastic, one of the all-time great Aggies. Simbalor, who was 7'5", who was and played in the NBA, but... Uh, yeah, you see that stat, 13 points all in the second half for Baker. Nice unselfishness 
and a block, but a foul is going to be called on New Mexico State. That's, I mean, that's, that's what you get when you trap and, and you leave a guy by himself down on the block. He's got to protect the basket, so now you got to right. go to the line and make free throws, and this is one of our keys to the game tonight for Bakersfield is making their free throws. Now Matt Smith, I believe, one for three on the night. 68% free throw shooter coming into tonight's game. And does get the bounce that time, but what a solid first half he had. He was big time bright spot for Coach Barnes. Baker. Another offensive foul on Ian Baker. There's just too many negative plays for the Aggies to, to, to overcome. You're going to see the right arm come out, and, and Rapp's going to play it up. He's got that, that soccer game in him <laughs> where he's going to play it up and flail a little bit. Yeah. Into the lane. Good contest. Jones. Almost a violation there. Huggins gives it up. Baker, good look at a three. Misses. Bular right there. Offensive rebound. Working hard. Wow, that's big a great fella. job by the big fella to stay with it because he was grabbed two or three times, grabbing his arms. It looked like a bunch of little kids hanging on to somebody's arm. He's played in 13 games this season, averaging seven minutes and two and a half points, two rebounds, and has, a, has three block shots. Oh, and the three by Arrington. I don't know if I've seen a, a, another guy that could be more selfish, and he doesn't, than Jalen Arrington. Because the guy doesn't put up a ton of shots. Gotcha. He's not a greedy player. Makes I don't, sense. I've never seen a guy with his abilities be as unselfish as, as this guy is. As he missed the shot, but he got it back for his team. Under eight minutes to play, second half, 54-39. New Mexico State, they are in trouble. This 20-game winning streak. Smith lost it. And a turnover. So we'll take the break with them. 7.35 left. Roadrunners 54, Aggies 39. You're watching the WAC Game of the Week on ESPN3. Right now it's the Roadrunners leading New Mexico State by a count of 54 to 39. A couple of streaks at play. New Mexico State, they have won 20 games in a row. And for Bakersfield, they have won 13 game, home games in a row on this court. Matter of fact, they've won 25 of the last 26. And the one blemish was New Mexico State last year, the double overtime thriller that Baker hit the game winner on. Here is Baker. Nice got, shot. Got away with a little bit of a left arm push there. They let him go on that one. But a beautiful shot off the step away. All in the second half. Speaking of uh, Baker, he's got 15. Too good of a player to be silent in the second half. We knew he would come up with something. Will it be enough? Can they get a few stops? Wrap, three on the clock. Oh, nice speed inside. And a whistle and a foul. Sean Briggs will head to the free throw line. That's a great pass from Wrap. And you see that, that zone, that 2-3 zone expands as the ball came back to and expected another pass outside. And he attacked it. Talked about that. Just awareness. Awareness by the Roadrunners of when to attack and when not to. They've seemed to make all the right decisions. Briggs, not a good free throw shooter. 43% on the season, but Said, tonight what? everything is going. Just 21 of 49 before that last free throw attempt. He's really been playing better the last several games. Out of Brentwood, California. That, that, that one looked more like the percentage right there. The first one looked like an 80% shot. Baker. Boy, all over him defensively. Huggins. 
Tough shot. Jones, another offensive rebound. Jones was fouled. Look at Bridge. And Jones will head to the free throw line. Clock stop. Chance for Mexico State to put some points on the board. All right, once again, you know it. If he misses two in a row, he will go free. Chick-fil-A. So they just made the announcement over the PA. If he misses two in a row, it's Chick-fil-A. And so now, now they'll really get loud. Free Chick-fil-A. Free Chick-fil-A. I think it's a sandwich. And so can we get it back? <laughs> Listen to this <laughs> Oh. And Mexico State, their bench celebrates 55-42. Much bigger things at stake as Baker able to knock it out of bounds. 6-14 left. They got to try and find a way to get it underneath 10. By four minutes. They got, they've got to do that. Arrington's got it. Back out to wrap. No hurry here for the Roadrunners. Basil, he's been quiet tonight. There's a deep three. Jones, another rebound. Well, they've come out of come out of man to man because they can't guard with Tanbeer on the floor. Man to man with the, the amount of quick wings. Good looking shot by Baker. It just will not fall for him tonight. Thought he could have got a better one. And that would have cut it to 10. So they have to play zone right now. With Bular in there. There's too much quickness for him to manage, but you got to be aware of the guys on the baseline cutting. Oh, nice look inside. They're going to call a foul. Mexico State's trying to say held ball, but it will be a foul. Huggins, his second. If he doesn't swipe here, they've got a they've got a held ball, but he swipes at it right there. You see him come in from the outside. He swipes oh. across the top. A lot of ball, but tough one. You got to go across the arm to get to that ball. Smith makes good on the first. He's done a nice job. Not only the production. But also getting to the free throw line as Goulart heads out. One more coming up here for Smith. Jones looking to push. Baker tracks it down. Jones again. Ellis known for his three-point shooting. And the junior college rings and Jones swoops wow. in and scores. Wow. The activity of Jones. What, what did I say to you at halftime? I said there's no way that guy would ever come off my floor. <laughs> right, you're right. Jones would not come All off the 40 ball. minutes the energy that we've witnessed tonight and the activity and the production. That, that was some play. I mean, he took it away. Went up and over. The defender took it away and, and puts it back. I mean, that's an excellent shot. And makes good on the uh, three-point play. And then he got the big man out of the game. Oh, Huggins called for the foul. So the lead is 11 with 5.02 left. So they're right there. You've been pining for them to get it under 10 at the four-minute mark. And they're close. They're within striking distance. As Arrington heads to the free throw line, the senior out of East Chicago, Indiana misses. Now he's an 81% free throw shooter. That's one of the top percentages in the conference. One more. He wasn't going to miss two in a row. <laughs> he got a chuckle out of his first miss. 57-45. Baker's got it. Chua, no thought about it. Jones for three. Oh, in and out. He's a good looking shot. He's a 26% three point shooter. Not a bad look. Four and a half to play. Mexico State, they've had a few chances to cut it to 10. They just haven't been able to hit that shot. You feel like 
once they open that door, they might be able to get it done. Oh, what a move. Briggs. Fancy footwork. Ellis, oh my, nails the three with 4.10 left. So Chance Ellis doesn't play a ton. He's played in 10 games, but in the JC ranks, he's known for his three-point shooting. 59-48, 4.10 left in the second. Welcome back to the Icardo Center. 59-48, New Mexico State making a bit of a run. And we're deliberating about the player of the game. We'll tease this, but Brent Rapp, he has filled up the stat sheet. He, he, he really has. He's done a nice job. Not saying he's the guy. Not saying he's not the In guy. In contention for sure, along with Durham and Matt Smith. That but is. if New Mexico State comes back, my friend Ian Baker will have something to say about that. And also Jones. Jones. We'll see. 3.55 left. Top two teams in the whack. Smith, tough shot. Jones, another rebound. And it was fouled. So the clock will stop at 3.42. That, that's the worst part. Is, is you're shooting, you have ability to give up points with the clock not running. And that kills you. you guys are I'm all for guys being aggressive on the yeah. offensive boards. But free throws, got Jones, free two for play. five from the free throw line. He has 10 points and 16 rebounds. And he misses. And once again, the promotion here at Bakersfield is live. They'll make a lot of noise on this second free throw. <laughs> so it's a 10-point game with three and a half to play. Back out to Rap. Still plenty of time on the shot clock. Eight seconds. Rap. The pull-up jumper. Oh, got the bounce. Talk about mid-range, mid-range, mid-range jump shots. Ellis, can he do it again? In and out. Arrington with the rebound. Boy, this Icardo Center, some kind of advantage for the Roadrunners. They have won 88% of their games, their home games. Oh, nice pass. Arrington with the flush. And that might do it. Baker, tough drive. Almost got it to go. Out of bounds. It'll stay with New Mexico State. Arrington, we talked about that athleticism. What a finish. Got the pass from Basil. Beautiful cut. But again, that great decision. And when you're playing zone, sometimes you end up standing around staring at stuff and you don't see what you should see. Huggins misses everything. It has not been a happy homecoming for one Braxton Huggins. I mean, you think about everything this team has been, been through to get 20 straight wins. Is, Extremely tough. Smith, fans wanted a foul. Kind of got off balance and expected a little more contact than he got. Baker, the runner, wrap another rebound. My, my partner is pulling for wrap for the player of the game, and I hard to argue. Durham had that great first half, and Smith was solid throughout. But Rapp has really been the uh, the engine to this uh, Roadrunner squad. The Made everything plays. go. Yeah, the small plays. And listen, Arrington is coming along as the finisher. He's like Raleigh Fingers out of the bullpen right now. <laughs> Love it. Baker. 
Uh, everything has been difficult for Ian Baker. We'll head to the free throw line. 127 left. Again, we talk about one of the top offenses in the conference, New Mexico State, averaging 78 points a game. They're barely going to get 50. Barely. And it's been a fight to get 50. I mean, they've, they've had the fight and scratch for every point they've gotten. So the fans filling this one well in hand, starting to file for the exits. A sellout here tonight. And they saw their road runners get back into not only the conference race, but I mean, they're sitting pretty with just the one conference loss and a split against New Mexico State. It's the Aggies that still have two other tough road games coming up against GCU and UTRGV, and those will be tough. GCU, I think at 9,000 people in there. That's a hostile environment. Dan Marley and the Lopes will be ready. They know... Uh, and I'm sure they wanted the Aggies to come in there on riding a 21-game winning streak so Probably they can so. shut it down. Probably so. Now they know they're going to get that kind of effort from a team that's upset. They're angry. They lost on the road and, and were handled from start to finish of this game. That's a team they're going to get in Phoenix. So that's going to be a battle. Baker, long distance three. Smith skies for the rebound. Oh, Baker Ooh, showed some hops. The theft and the uh, finish. And I got to talk about my man Garza here, number 15 for New Mexico State. So Joe Garza, he's from Las Cruces. The first two years of his college career did not play on New Mexico State's men's basketball team. He, play, he was a practice squad player for the women and coached track. And then that second, I don't know, I don't know the conversation that happened. Maybe track was like, hey, you got Coach Weir, we got this guy. You might want to play him. And, boy, he's been, he's been pivotal in a couple of key games for them. But I, I think that's a great story, number 15, for New Mexico State, Joe Garza. Practice squad player for the women and making an impact for the men's team. Well, you knew he knew the game. He's being taught and coached up. And I'm sure they had plenty of time to, to look at him. Wilkins for three. Misses. Garza. Huggins. And Smith. Oh, and the pass, too. Basil's got it. Shot time at the Alcardo Center. Baker, a deep three. Oh, a collision at the three-point line. Rap. <laughs> we'll put it in. Jubilation here in Bakersfield. Wow. And Matt Taylor can't get the bounce. So New Mexico State, you have to salute them. A 20-game winning streak. So hard to do that. But it comes to an end tonight. Bakersfield, 72. New Mexico State, 53. Let's let's go to our player of the game, Sed Bonner. Who is it? it oh, it's got to be the guy from Boulder. <laughs> I mean, he was outstanding. You see the good dish? And we didn't get his final numbers because he added some, some cheap buckets at the end to, oh, try, to try to help his chances out. He knew however, said a lot of them. However, he took a couple charges but created a ton. The short mid-range jumper there. Brent Rapp was, was very good tonight. And this is one of those chippy ones. There you go. Look at it. And he had three steals, too. They didn't add the steals on there. He had three steals as well. Just be happy you don't have to come here to play the tournament. <laughs> That's right. If you're anybody. This this 
is one of the most hostile places. The fans are into it from start to finish. Great venue, and this is a really good Roadrunner team that seems to be hitting their stride at the right time. And the one seed, they get the first round by in the conference tournament, so that'll be big. All right, so for Sed Bonner, I am Michael Fenton saying so long from Bakersfield, where the final score is Bakersfield 72, New Mexico State 53.